Hi guys, my name is Majid and in today's video we're going to be doing a drop test of the new iPhone 6. Now this is a 4.7 inch model. We just want to see how well it stands up to the normal durability put on it by a normal user. Now some of the things that we do in this video are a little extreme so you got to make sure to count that out from the normal usage. But other than that, this is going to be a straightforward drop test to see how well it stands up to impacts. All right guys, so to start off this test, we're gonna take a real life situation, basically someone taking their phone out of their pocket, is to see how it would react falling on some carpet. Now this is fairly soft, so I'm not gonna expect anything drastic to happen here, but again, let's just be realistic for the first starting off of the test, and let's try it out. So I'm gonna drop it from yay height, so it's about my uh, waist, and... Uh, So as you can see, really nothing happened. It looks pretty much exactly the same. The uh, crack that's there was there from before, so don't worry about that. Uh, as you can see, everything works perfectly. Screen's fine. And other than the tiny little scratches uh, from before, there's nothing different about this phone. All right, moving on. All right, so now I'm gonna drop it from basically a little bit above waist height onto hardwood floor, uh, just to see how it reacts. So let's do it. Three, two, one. And again, there's basically nothing wrong with it. It's perfect condition. It stands up to medium size, falls pretty well. Uh, absolutely nothing happened this time. If, it, if this phone was originally in perfect condition, it would still be in perfect condition. Now, uh, moving on, I think we should do a rougher test. We'll do a little bit of the slate tile, so it's a little bit of a harder uh, contact point for the phone. So let's see how it does. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. And again, as I pick up the phone, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Check the edges, uh, no dents whatsoever, and nothing on the glass, no scratches on the back. It's perfect, uh, no dents at all. Um, again, disregard the little tiny scratches. If you want to see how those were there, watch our other video. All right, guys, so now we're outside in the real environment with concrete underneath. So we're going to see how it really does in uh, a direct hit with the concrete. So I'm gonna drop it uh, about yeah height, so it's kinda like near my waist, and then we'll go higher from that, all right? So let's begin, three, two, one. And as you can see, it's pretty much in the same condition as it was before, nothing new has happened from this fall. So it stands up pretty well to durability. Taking a look at the edges, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing on the bottom or the top. Uh, this being a rounded phone, I think it definitely helps it. If we had the iPhone 5 or the 5S right now, it would definitely be scratched up on the edges. So um, with that said, let's go to our higher height and see what that can do. All right guys, so now we're gonna throw it from above my head, as you can see, I'm probably about like 5'10", 5'11", something like that, so not too high. But let's just say this is six feet, so dropping it from six feet, here we go. So it did get a few dents at the bottom corner, as you can see, and uh, a little bit of stuff on the top corners. So basically impacted the corners quite a bit, saying that it did fall in the corner. Uh, nothing to the screen and a little bit of a dent on the back. It's a little bit of a deeper dent that was not there before. So it's affecting the body now. Uh, the higher we go, I guess the more it does damage the phone. So without further ado, let's go a little bit higher, see if we can get more damage on this thing. All right guys, so I'm here on top of my roof. It's pretty high. As you can see, I don't really like heights, but we're gonna do this anyways. I'm gonna throw the phone off the roof at a quite a far distance to see if we can actually get the screen to shatter. Now, this is an extreme event. Most likely you won't have your car flying off your, or most likely you won't have your iPhone flying off your roof. But in case you end up in a situation like this, you can see how strong the durability of the phone is. So without further ado, let's do this. Three, Two, one.
And there it is. So it looks like it might have gotten a dent on it, but we're going to have to do a closer look to see. All right, guys, so I just got off the roof and we're going to take a look at the damage. As you can see, it completely destroyed the phone. A fall from that high is crazy. So the digitizer is completely not working. As you can see, the camera still works with a little bit of uh, the side being picking up the bricks. So that's very cool. And half of the display works. So that's very interesting. But other than that, you can see the front is completely destroyed. This phone is not usable. It's dented and it's pretty much done. So I'd say like, don't drop it off a roof that high. And if you are too, well, good luck to you because your phone's gonna be unusable. But that's pretty much it guys. I hope you liked our drop test. I know it's pretty unrealistic, the last thing that we did, but for most of it, it stands up to the durability that a normal person would expect while using the phone. So I give this phone a very nice build quality status. Um, if you are in the market to get it, it's definitely a very good phone to pick up. So thank you guys for watching our video. If you liked it, make sure to add it to your favorites and share the video if you can. It helps us out quite a bit. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll see you next time.